guys, it's Candy. Wow! Did Kim Kardashian give Taylor Swift a dose of stop being a fucking lying, mean ass bitch? Of course, everybody knows the beef between Kanye West and Taylor Swift going back to I don't know what year because it's totally irrelevant when he got up on the stage and said that Beyonce had the best album or song or whatever of all time. Now, to be really, really honest with you, I didn't listen to Taylor Swift b before then. I was never a Swifty ever. I never have been. And um, her music isn't something that I would typically listen to. But when that happened, I did feel really sorry for her. And started kind of like oh this music's kind of decent you know like gave it a chance because um I hate to say this not that she wasn't already famous but I made that bitch famous like there are people that listen to him that never listen to her and maybe vice versa but probably not because all of her fans hate him but it, it gave me an opportunity, in a sense, to listen to her music where I hadn't. Now, over and over, different celebrities have called her a mean girl. They have said, you don't really know the real Taylor Swift. Like, she acts all sweet and honey in front of people, but behind closed doors, that bitch is a mean girl with her little famous entourage. To be really honest with you, I've always seen it. I've always seen that. I went to school with Regina George, mean girl. That's basically what she is. I'm not saying I actually went to school with Regina George. I'm saying that I am familiar with that situation and I've always seen that from Taylor Swift. All of this resurfaced recently when she broke up with Calvin Harris and then he got a little butt hurt and was like oh my god we broke up whatever because she was literally banging another dude the next day so he got a little bit heated about it and was upset. Well then she came out and was like bitch I wrote your song. I wrote you and Rihanna's song. This is what you came for so I win. Well so many people saw the way she was basically making Calvin Harris look like a bad guy including Kim Kardashian and she's like you know what bitch? I mean, I don't know. I don't know these people. I don't know these people, but I'm just saying, like, from the situation. She's like, you know what, bitch? I'm tired of everybody thinking you are so prim and proper and perfect, while actually, you're the asshole mean girl that's lying about everybody. So when Kanye West released the song Famous, there's a part in it where he talks about he feels like he might have sex with Taylor. He made that bitch famous. And she got livid. She got livid. Like, well, on the internet, she got livid. She got livid to her fans because, oh my God, I'm disgraced like that. How would anybody ever do that? I would never say it's okay. Well, Kanye West called her and told her. He doesn't have to do that, by the way. He called her and told her, hey, this is what I'm going to do. And she was all like, oh my God, thank you so much for even calling me. He's like, as a friend, I feel like I should tell you that. She's like, yeah. And whenever people say something, I'm going to be like, oh, the joke's on you. I knew about it. So she has denied that. She has denied that conversation since the song came out. And Kim and Kanye both come out and say like, yeah, she agreed to this. And it doesn't even matter if she agreed, they just gave her a heads up. Well, she, like I said, has denied it over and over and over. And, well, guess what got dropped last night on Kim Kardashian's Snapchat? Okay, dope. You, you, still, got, you still got the Nashville uh, number? I still have the Nashville um, area code, but I have to change it. To all my Southside niggas that know me best, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Oh, well, this, this one is, uh, I think this is a really cool thing to have. Uh, thing to have. Uh, I know, it's like a compliment, I know. What I give a fuck about is just you as a person and as a friend. I want things that make you feel good. I don't want to do rap that makes people feel bad. responsibility to you as a friend, you know, and, uh, I mean, thanks, uh, I mean, thanks for being, like, so cool about it. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really appreciate it, like, that stuff is so nice, but it's without, like, either asking or seeing if I'd be okay with it, and I just really appreciate it, it's like, I never would have expected you to, like, tell me about my life and, like, your talk. And then the flowers that you sent me, I, like, Instagrammed a, a picture of them, and it's the most Instagram likes I've ever gotten. It was, like, 2 point seven. Relationships are more important than punchlines, you know? Yeah, I mean, I don't think anybody would listen to 
to leave this long ass message about how it was wrong and she never said that they uh, were going to call her that bitch or whatever. It, I mean, he said he might have sex with her. How is calling her that bitch going to be any different? Like, that's the whole thing. She can make up whatever she wants. She can say whatever she wants. But she is a mean girl now trying to look like oh, a little innocent victim when she got literally called out and busted on something she did and lied about period. You see, that's the difference between people who have balls and admit what they did. Kim Kardashian's always said, yeah, I have a sex tape. I mean, it's out there, but yes, I have a sex tape. Kanye's like, yep, I walked on stage and said this or that, right? They have the balls to do what they want instead of being a crybaby and lying about the things they do because they're afraid of losing popularity or whatever it is. When you see people living their lives the way they want to live them unapologetically and being boss-ass bitches doing it, you've got to have respect for them. You can hate on them all the fuck you want, but those bitches have made a career out of being those bitches. So anyhow guys, that's all I have for you today. I'm sure if I invite a lot of arguing comments that will happen, but remember, I moderate comments. So you can say all the nasty shit you want, it just will never get posted and actually go into spam and you'll get blocked and all that good shit. So is it worth it? Real quick guys, I know this is a weird fucking angle. I'm in a different place, but I'm home and I was like looking at and reading about um, just different things with this whole thing and Callie Thorpe who is somebody I follow a model that I follow and a blogger and vlogger and all of those good things youtuber and all that good stuff um she um tweeted this and all of this is some stuff that I would that I totally like I feel this way and I like it just I wanted to add this she says why are people so quick to criticize and slut shame Kim Kardashian but when it comes to legitimate criticism for Taylor Swift everyone else is a bully I'm not a fan of Kanye at all, but she rode the media wave when everyone called Kanye out for misogyny and sat back when she knew the truth. This isn't a matter of bullying. This is a matter of getting called out for bad behaviors. Lying is a bad behavior, and she knows it. And I want to talk about this real, real, real quick, and then I'll go. Um, that's 100% that's everything that needs to be said. This is going on since Harry Styles. Actually, he tweeted a little snake last night and deleted it. All of these people are tweeting stuff and are saying things now because they feel more comfortable saying it. Nobody wanted to be the bad person bullying Taylor before. She was like the fucking queen of music. Nobody could talk bad about her, you know, that kind of thing. So everybody kind of was like scared. That's that whole Mean Girls mentality again, by the way, guys. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, be nice to each other because remember, nobody likes a fucking asshole. Bye, guys.